going on everybody welcome back to a new video real quick before i get the vlog rolling just want to remind you guys it is the last chance but it's also double entries to win the hushin ultimate off-road package so that's casey's truck the 2020 trail boss that's the trailer and the can-am side by side someone's going to win this thing just by simply shopping at gethushin.com or the Get Hushin mobile app. So I have a link straight to the store and downloading the mobile app, which is free by the way, in the description box. It's right there on the top, so go check that out. It is now until May 9th, so you guys better get in soon. Just shop the store or the mobile app to get entered automatically. Good luck everybody. We will announce the winner um, by the end of the month. So there's a lot of legalities and everything and a third party is actually the one who picks the winner. So. Stay tuned on all the hushing platforms to see if you guys won. Go get entered and enjoy the vlog. Hey guys, welcome to my little solo camp. I am out looking for elk sheds. Only found one chalky one, but we got a nice fire. We got the hammock going on. And I thought I'd add a little portion of this little trip to my vlog. So I'm out here solo looking for elk sheds trying to make a video for shed tour it's not popping i found one small six point and uh so far that is it i did nine almost 10 miles today in probably like uh three quarters of a day i think i started my hike around noon so i think i did 10 miles almost 10 miles in only like seven and seven hours and 15 minutes so we've been trekking looking for sign there's bull sign but haven't found any sheds but man, I usually do a solo trip or two and I hadn't done one yet. So here's to solo trip number one during shed season and it hasn't been very good. It is starting to get hot. And I'll tell you what, all it takes is like one hot trip and one trip where you get your butt kicked and suddenly shed hunting doesn't sound very fun. <laughs> Being home relaxing sounds more fun. I, it's getting there guys i got a few more in me i think but uh it's gonna get hot here and it's just time to focus on other things this shed season's probably been one of my slowest um if you're watching shed tour you've probably seen a, a few pack loads but man it's nothing like it was the last few years just a weird year with the snow pushing these bulls into new new spots and i'm not finding them down here so i think i have to move back up uh, which is fine because that's that's the way of the uh, truck but this is what i love i am so comfortable and so at peace and so at home out here doing this kind of stuff all by myself just a little hammock living off the backpack which i have tons of water <clears throat> i'm glad i did but there was actually a creek down low um and i filled up made some uh mountain house spaghetti but checking in from solo camp hope you guys are enjoying the vlog take you guys wherever i go but i uh, appreciate you guys watching if i find something i'll give you guys an update but checking out from camp for now hope you guys are having a good one i told you guys i would show you if i found something got good news i did find some two sets two singles but man i am not in brown town i am I'm in Chalk City, even though there's fresh sign and droppings through here. I'm really not finding any browns, but did find a couple nice ones. This guy and that guy side by side set. Those two up there that are upside down were on top of each other. This is a big one that I think I have the brown set off this bull. And if that's the case, I think this is older than the set. So that would be a four year old antler right here, which actually I think all of them are about four years old or so and depending on if they're in the sun or not they're in different condition but this one by far the biggest this set is a pretty solid compact six nice mass so we got to pack those out i've got a giant thing of water that i'm wondering if i should fill up my water bottle then dump that out maybe i should wait i th i thought i was gonna go home tonight maybe i will i don't know i guess maybe i shouldn't dump out that water until i decide but it's looking pretty good it's fun um i don't know man maybe this will be a video on the hush page maybe it'll be part of a, a vlog i'm not sure solo trip 
super cool. I'm gonna throw these on the pack and uh, get moving. Well, good morning, everybody. Felt dang good to wake up in my bed. <clears throat> After 12 days on the road, maybe three of those days were in hotels, which I, I actually sleep better on the mountain than I do in the hotel. But first workout since I've been home, I'm just going to work out in the home gym. Um, set this up a couple of vlogs ago. It's got everything we need. Jade Pup always likes to come down and hang out. Good morning, Jade. Happy little pup, huh? <laughs> so today I'm just probably gonna do a little upper body, mostly shoulders and chest, and then maybe even some biceps and triceps, just to get the muscles moving, get some blood in the muscles, and uh, just kind of go from there. But nothing crazy. A lot of uh, lateral raises, upright rows, maybe some chest flies, presses. That's where I've been seeing most of the weakness is through my chest press. Um, my left arm and left chest uh, has already had atrophy and it is already just smaller and much weaker. I'm still getting some tingly in the arm, but uh, I'm trying my best to do some physical therapy and keep it moving. Obviously, I'm hiking a lot and being very active, so it's not like I'm just sitting around not being active, but I'm definitely going to keep it moving in the in the gym. It's feeling a little better since the steroid shot. It's not nearly as annoying. There's no muscle knots or anything crazy like that. So anyways, got my pre-workout and a little bit of creatine, so... Let's get to it. Hey, hey, we're back after a fresh uh, beard trim. Got the nice little fade going on, and I must admit, um, I think I've had one other random beard trim. I think I was in Las Vegas or maybe it was SHOT Show in Las Vegas. I can't remember. We were bored and we went to like a little barber shop and got beard trim. But I'll tell you what, if you have never got your beard trimmed, I used to just do it myself. I feel like I've saved a lot of money. Buzzing my own head my whole life because I'm bald and, uh, you know, just trimming the beard myself. But if you guys have never gone and treated yourself to a beard trim, go do it. It feels good. They always make you look good. And uh, it's kind of relaxing. So I just got done running errands. One of the errands being uh, getting some groceries. And I thought it'd be cool to show you guys what I got and kind of tie it together with uh, my fitness goals. Because as I try to reach the fitness goals, you got to start cleaning up the diet. So I'm going to haul these in. And then I'll show you guys what I got. All right, let me show you what we got here. Big old mess. So, I'm losing weight from shed season. I uh, woke up at 173 pounds, which is my record low for the year. I want to get to 170, but a completely different body composition right now. I'm getting skinny and, and depleted, but I got some walnuts. I always have almonds or walnuts around. Got some bananas that I use, mostly use for my protein shake. I kind of like them more on the ripe side. I always get bummed out when you go to the store and the bananas are green. We got some new bananas, oatmeal. Sometimes I get the organic or the low sugar, but when it comes down to oatmeal, this is just my favorite because it tastes the best. I always like to add some berries and a little bit of peanut butter. Decided to curb my cravings for pancakes, which I've been eating on the road with some of these Kodiak cakes. For those of you who do not know Kodiak cakes, started here in Utah. It's a Utah based company. I think it's in Park City. Yep, Kodiak cakes, Park City, Utah. They have more protein 
um, than like your normal stuff. So looks like a serving has 13 grams of protein. So I did grab myself some pancake mix and some uh, milk to mix with that. So some mornings that I want like some pancakes for my carbs instead of oatmeal, just to kind of curb that craving. Um, I've got some Kodiak cakes. These were brand new. I've never seen these, but I decided to purchase some. They were in the refrigerated section by the eggs. They're called Egg Life. They're egg white wraps, and this is the Southwest flavored one. So a, a single serving is one wrap, and that has one carb and five grams of protein, and the ingredients are egg white, less than 1% of garlic, and then honestly the rest of them is just like pepper and some of the flavoring. So those, they need to be refrigerated, but if I'm ever craving like a breakfast burrito, I can have those with the egg white wraps now. So that's pretty sweet. I always go with the almond milk for my protein shakes. I use the Mountain Ops Magnum chocolate or chocolate peanut butter. God, I should probably reshoot the whole thing because uh, that's so loud. But anyways, almond milk for my protein shakes. Got a couple of those. Got some cucumbers. You can pretty much go endless cucumbers with like no calories to them. Like, I don't even know if they have to have the nutrition facts on these. Uh, so we got some cucumbers. They're always good with like the rice bowls. And then a handful of avocados. We got five of them. So I like avocados uh, for my fat source. I eat them with eggs, eat them with steak, eat them with rice bowls, you name it. So on top of that, so that's what I got from the grocery store. But keep in mind, I'm always stocked up on things like meat and salmon, which... Uh, here we go. So today I got out some um, elk ground and some mule deer sirloin steaks. So you never see me buying a lot of meat from the store because I have freezers full of it. It's always nice, but that's what I got for my healthy eating. This won't last long. I don't think we'll be in town long because May 1st, the shed opener is coming soon. So I think Kate and I are going to go on like a family trip and do some shed hunting here in Utah. But yeah, that's kind of what I got from the grocery store this time, super easy. My breakfasts are always eggs, oatmeal, or even eggs and elk sausage, and then a lot of meat, a lot of berries in my oatmeal, etc. So that's that. I'm actually gonna cook something because I'm hungry and I'm kind of leaning towards the protein pancakes, so. She's looking for her puppy friend. Jade's over here whining because she wants her little puppy friend. <laughs> Funny enough, and I don't mean to just have basically like a dog episode here towards the end of the vlog, but Kate, bless her heart, she goes to the animal shelter. It's a West Valley animal shelter where we got Jade and one way of... Um, one nice thing she likes to do to kind of give back because we got Jade from there. So she feels very blessed if she goes to the shelter and walks the dogs who are in the shelter. And she just called me and was like, can we foster this one for the night? And I'll take her back in the morning. You guys know how that has potential to go somewhere where you may, may not want it to go. We have one dog and I think that's enough. But she's bringing over another dog, a seven month old pit bull. I think named Rue. Come here, Jade. Come here. Sit. Good girl. Sit. Who's that, Jade? Oh. Good job. She's like, who are you? Good job. Oh, it's a new, new puppy to play with. <laughs> it's Rue. No, Jake, Jake, come here. What do you think of your new friend? Oh, hi, Mike. Who's that, Jade? Hey, Rue. Jeez. <laughs> Who's this little puppy? Oh, you're a stout little girl, huh? You brought home another dog. No, I didn't. We're just overnight fostering, okay? I was at six, so 
We're overnight fostering. And she's probably like, what? I'm surprised she didn't bark. She Jade's a lot more excited than she is. I know, she's a puppy. Jade's like, my friend. She's sure probably she's like, puppy. I don't know what the heck's going on. I know, she's probably confused. Jade, calm down. No, How long has she been at the shelter? A month. A month? When, when they found her, uh, she was eating trash. And she's probably... Oh, we got to put water on that then. Um, but <laughs> when, we, when they found her, she was eating so much trash that her teeth were, like, dark. And they thought she was a little bit older. And they had to physically clean her teeth because she was eating so much trash and mud and dirt. Roop up. Hey, sit. 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 Here, let me get them treats. Gave us treats. You're wild. Are you ready? Okay. Okay. See it. Oh, look at the cute little babies. Oh, look at them. <laughs> She's like, give Take me a snack. Nice. No, nice. That's it. Rue will okay. sit, but man, sit. she wants a treat. Sit. Nice, nice, nice. That's better. We've been working on that. Good job, Jay. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to throw a little tad bit of dinner in the vlog because so many people seem to like the cooking and the food. So let's show you what I got. Got the Mississippi pot roast. I learned the Mississippi pot roast from Matt. Basically at 7 a.m., which it's 3.30, I put an elk roast in here with, and this is only the ingredients, the roast, a uh, jar of pepperoncinis, what are they? Pepperoncini peppers? Yeah. Yep. A packet of au jus sauce, a packet of ranch, like dressing sauce, like the dry packet powder, a stick of butter, and then I put that sucker on high for maybe two or three hours, then low for five. Now we have like a super easy dinner that is full of flavor. If you guys like flavor country, try the Mississippi pot roast. We are gonna serve it. This is, you know, not necessarily how you serve it. What I really want is this with a bunch of rolls to make mini sandwiches out of. Hawaiian rolls. Hawaiian rolls, yeah, a bunch of butter and Hawaiian rolls is what I really want. But instead, I'm just gonna shred it up. You can see I've already shredded up to like this size. Um, the meat, if I left it in here for a couple more hours, which I will, whatever meat we don't use for dinner, I'm just gonna let cook. We're gonna take some of this, some of that pepperoncini sauce. Take a little bit. Some of that, it's full of pepperoncinis. It has great flavor. We're gonna pour that over a bed of rice in a bowl. I'm gonna top mine with avocado and that's gonna be dinner. Let me whip it up real quick and then I'll show you. All right, final product. It doesn't look like much. And like I said, I would probably rather have this with a Hawaiian roll and I don't know, maybe a side of green beans. But we got rice, avocado, obviously the peppers, and the elk roast. How is it? It's so good, sir. I'm stuffing my face. No, I'm just hungry. Easy, easy meal to cook at home. If you guys have, I'd say roasts are like the last things that I go through. I'm just used to steaks and burger and jerky all the time. Like the, the breakfast sausage that we have. Roast, I never do, but that was because I did not have a crock pot. Now I do, but this is an easy one, guys. Try it out and let me know.